I would like to say rest in peace, Bishop, Archbishop. We will not rest until we have achieved the ideal society you were champion for. We release you to be with the Lord in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May we please stand as we reaffirm our faith with the words of the baptismal creed. We believe and trust in God the Father who made the world. We believe and trust in his Son, Jesus Christ, who redeemed humankind. We believe and trust in the Holy Spirit who gives life to the people of God. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Please sit for prayers. At this moment, we invite those who've been asked to say prayers to come forward. Good morning. To the Right Reverend, we thank you most sincerely for enabling us to participate in this very great ceremony. To the representatives of other faiths, good morning. I stand before you this morning as a representative of the Buddhist community in South Africa. And I can assure you that this morning I stand for Buddhists everywhere because of this man whose life we are celebrating. I would like to begin by invoking an intonation of the mystic law of life in the universe. I will be using our words, using our chant, to seek first to unite our hearts, minds, and spirits on achieving justice in South Africa and on achieving justice in the world. Nam yo holenge kyo, nam yo holenge kyo, nam yo holenge kyo. Justice is a basic condition required to achieve peace in our communities, to achieve peace in our world. People everywhere in South Africa and in all the distant corners of the earth wish for peace. Yet, this is an unjust world in which the righteous suffer and the false ones gain. Through our prayer, let us declare that everyone has a right to savor the highest joys. Everyone has beautiful hopes that must not be violated. The existential crisis we are currently facing as human beings is a reflection of the lack of justice in the world. 
Indeed, we live in a time of heightened climate injustice, of divisive racial injustice, and the depravity of economic injustice. Ordinary people everywhere constantly face the indignation of having one's rights violated. Injustice is crushing the spirit of the people. Please pray with me. Let us pray as inspired by the life of the Archbishop Tutu to summon up the wisdom and compassion and courage to fight for justice. With justice, we can create communities in which those who have suffered the most will become the happiest. To achieve justice in South Africa, which suffered the bitterest night of the trampling of the human dignity of the majority, to achieve justice in a world created by disparity, let us through our faith, through our prayer, strengthen our connection with the source of creativity, compassion, and love. Let us manifest the courage of the standalone spirit. Let us pray with the confidence that we have within us the full resources and power to create a world of justice. We pray too for the courage to respond to the injustice in the world as a community to educate, learn, to identify, and to fight for the creation of a new human civilization based on the values of Ubuntu and human dignity. Armed with conviction, let us offer all people, equally and without discrimination, our warm encouragement, inspiring them to elevate their lives, to strive for beauty, for the noblest heights of the human spirits. Let us determine to transform even the greatest evil into the greatest good, realizing that if we don't fight, justice will be defeated. Because justice is on our side, we mustn't lose, we cannot lose, we absolutely must win. The Lotus Sutra describes the world as a place where living beings enjoy themselves at ease. We were not born to suffer. Our foremost happiness is seeing others become happy. May we practice our faith and prayer to make our land peaceful and secure. This is our prayer. We invoke the mystic law to strengthen our sense of purpose and mission. With the continuous flame of inspiration of the life of the Archbishop Tutu in our hearts, we pray for justice. Let us pray. Let us charge to transmit the values of peace and justice in fulfillment of the dreams of our ancestors. Using our voices to spread a message of peace and human dignity, our lion's roar of truth and justice is a powerful force. For creating, for creating a new age. As taught by Desmond Tutu, no dark fate determines the future. We do. Each day, each moment, we are able to create and recreate our lives and the very quality of human life on our planet. This is the power we wield. The achievement of a just world, a just society, is solely dependent on the actions of the individual. Each one of us, each one of us, an indispensable asset to achieving justice. I thank you.
we pray for reconciliation and forgiveness. Look with pity, Heavenly Father, on those who are threatened by hunger, injustice, terror, or death. Help us to banish cruelty from our midst. Strengthen those who seek equality for all and grant that every one of us may receive a due share in the riches of this land. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us, let us pray. God, our strength and our redeemer, your servant Desmond chose to suffer insults, persecution, rather than betray your son. Grant that we, your disciples, may follow you with all our hearts and that nothing may separate us from you through jesus christ our lord amen Let us continue in prayer. We bow down low as we give thanks and praise to the Almighty God for the life and legacy of the dear Archbishop Desmond Tutu. We give you glory, God, for the Arch as a spiritual father, a mentor, a prayer warrior, and a sterling example to very many people in South Africa on the continent of Africa, and many other parts of the world. We praise you, God, for having gifted our country and our world with a person of his caliber, with a person of his faith, with a person of his love, with a person of a prophetic ministry, and a person with his consistency. We thank you, God, that our faithful compassionate and loving arch inspired and taught millions of us the importance and significance of true love. He could love the way he did because he trusted upon your unfailing and relentless love. The arch loved not because of, but despite of. Gracious God, we adore you for endowing the arch to practice love in the spirit of the three Greek words, phileo, eros, and agape. Help us accordingly to love our neighbors and to love each other. Help us to love our life partners intimately. Help us, Lord, in the way that we love you, our creator. We celebrate the glorious achievements of the arch. We celebrate the joy, the happiness, and the comfort he offered to many people and to many of us. We celebrate the time arch was blessed to spend with Mama Lea and with their children. How we wish that we could lay our arch to rest in the South Africa, he sacrificed and struggled and prayed for. God, 
please grant us now the courage, the determination, the conviction, and the knowledge to pick up the pattern and to continue with the struggle for justice, for peace, for dignity, and for freedom. Please hear our prayers and receive our petitions as we continue striving for your will to be done. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal God, the light of the minds that know you, the joy of the hearts that love you, the strength of the wheels that serve you, grant us so to know you that we may truly love you, so to love you that we may freely serve you, to the glory of your holy name, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat>